Hey, what's up guys? It's TJ with Darpino Media. Today, I just figured I'd give you a quick rundown on all the settings that I use on my Fujifilm X-T3 when I'm filming real estate. Cue the intro. So far, I've used the Fujifilm X-T3 on about five or six professional real estate shoots. I'm absolutely loving it so far. I've been messing with the settings a lot and I think I've got it to a point where I really, really enjoy it. Um, so we're gonna dive right into it and I'll just show you guys exactly what I do. Okay, so we're on the X-T3 here. Uh, we're gonna jump into the menu, go over to the movie mode. Start at the top. Um, I always shoot everything at 17 by nine, just uh, full HD. Uh, I really don't feel like dealing with 4K a lot. Uh, especially because a lot of these have to be so, uh, they have to be turned out very quickly. Um, so, and I also shoot in the 17 by nine just to get that little extra uh, wideness. Um, I'm always shooting in 60 frames per second at 100 megabytes. Um, I'll sometimes switch to 24 frames per second if it's a really dark room or if it's something that is uh, someone talking or anything like that, uh, but most of the time I'm on 60 frames per uh, 60 frames per second. I'm shooting in the H H.264. Um, H.265 is just not worth it uh, for these type of videos. It's just a, a lot of headache for for nothing, and it just takes a little bit more time that you just don't have. Uh, long GOP. Uh, the film simulation. Um, I'm loving Eterna right now. Um, I'm pretty much staying true to the Eterna for, for real estate shoots. Um, dynamic range I have set to 400, even though you have to sacrifice the uh, lower ISO. Most of the time it doesn't matter because you're indoors and you typically would be around the 600 to 800 mark regardless anyway. Um, so I'm getting into the settings here. Um, my highlight tone I have down to negative two. Shadow tone, I'm leaving alone. Uh, my color, um, a lot of people know, might not agree with this, but I actually have it set to plus three because I feel like it really gives a nice, like, neutral looking image that I, I really like. Um, I just found that I kept doing the same adjustments over and over again when adding saturation and contrast in, in post. Uh, so just adding this here just gives me something that essentially I like almost effectively right out of the camera. Uh, sharpness I leave at zero, noise reduction at zero, obviously F logs off. Um, focus mode I usually use area or zone. Custom settings I have the tracking sensitivity to plus two and the auto focusing speed to zero. Uh, if I have someone in the shot I'll have the face or eye detection on. Uh, if I have to manual focus, because sometimes um, if you're in darker rooms and stuff like that, it just it, it doesn't work as well. So you, sometimes I just like to have that manual focus to make sure I get it right uh, and there's no hunting. So I have the peaking set. Uh, blue is my favorite color, blue high on here. Um, 4K movie output, full HD movie output. Um, I have zebra settings set to zebra right. I, I don't, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I have the level to 100 so that I know exactly what I'm losing and whether or not I'm okay with just losing that, that bit of information. Um, other than that, pretty much that's it as far as the settings go. Um, I, I typically try to leave my, my aperture somewhere around 4.0. Um, sometimes I'll go to 2.8 if I really need it. Um, my shutter speed obviously is the 180 rule, so I'm typically hovering around the 120 mark. Um, and then other than that, yeah, it's just uh, adjusting the white balance and you're good to go. All right, so that's all I've got. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Let me know if I missed anything. Other than that, if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.